Welcome back to Master of Orion 1. In the last video, so many things happened. Um, most important points, the silicoids took ultra-rich Proxima, which is a disaster, because they will spam the galaxy with ships produced in the shipyards of Proxima. And they are also in range now of Beta City and probably other planets, Primordius maybe. On the other hand, we settled more systems. Let's have a look on the and another colony ship is underway to to found our sixth colony. So let's have a look at the strategic map. We here the red four uh, five planet Empire. The silicoids are up to seven planets and not yet done, I can promise you. And the Borathi are also pretty strong. Six planets. We had contact with uh, Meklas and Clackons around here. So I guess either Mekla or Clackon Empire will be located here. And Meklas maybe here or here. And yeah, the, the the free spot should be populated by the Sakra. As we can see, there 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 are uh, three spots. So it may it may be that every empire had a decent start, but um, it's it's common that one empire has a weak start and another empire jumps into this free space. Let's hope that didn't happen around here. We'll, we'll see that later. I thought about our current position and um, came up with a few conclusions. The first one is I'll invest heavily in planetology tech research because we are currently, currently working on um, or no, we are not working on, but we could start to work on uh, terraforming Tech plus 20, enlarging the size of every planet by 20. Uh, we've already settled. Um, if we grab the other two planets and go up to seven planets, that would be seven times 20, 140 billion kitty cats. That's a lot. That equals two good-sized planets. So that is very uh, useful. We should go for it. And after that, after that, um, I'll try to gamble on um, researching a more advanced colonization tech in order to um, be able to settle this and this inferno planet. Um, because the sillies will try to get them, and we can't allow that. And it's all, they are also vi vital, this one in particular, because it opens up our um, backyard. And we could also settle the barren plant here, because higher uh, colonization tastes always allow you to settle um, yeah, less hostile environments. Um, we should also think about um, putting our racial advantage to a good use. Uh, as mentioned before, we are a war race and we have the best reflexes in the game. So our gunners um, do terrible damage. So I'll, I will start uh, researching new beam weapons for our kitty pilots, kitty cat pilots, in order to shoot the rocks out of their starships as long as uh, they don't pull away in, in terms of tech. Okay, anything else to mention here? Um, yeah, and uh, otherwise we'll have to um, develop the full capacity of all of our planets and uh, strengthen um, the border planets. This one here and this one down there. Okay, I will also start to sp spy on our enemies. Um, yeah, we 
currently we are not investing in on spy activities um, and our and the default um, setting is that the spice height. What we will do is put um, both settings on espionage and we'll and, and start with a slight investment to grow to grow a spy uh, in both empires. Um, what what do spies do? Um, of course, they spy. <laughs> so they um, give us an update about the uh, tech progress of a race. So far we don't know anything and as you can see the report is heavily outdated, 50 years. So we need uh, new information. And the Burathis in particular are w poor or weak at researching computer tech. Computer tech helps you uh, Helps you spies because you know they are able when when they are equipped with new st uh, stuff they are able to int um, to crack security systems and networks and gather uh, the best information. So the Burath Burathi excuse me, will most likely become our spy victim. Uh, Silicoids, on the other hand, are good or strong uh, at researching computer tech, and they are also leading mm, the tech bar, as you can see. So we'll have a harder stand there to. Uh, spy on them, but we'll try it anyway. And, and again, um, the spying is deducted as a tax from all uh, planetary, uh, all our planet's productions. So uh, we shouldn't exaggerate. That would be much too high. Would uh, yield us a spy in one year, but cost us one tenth of our overall production. Much too costly. Let's leave, leave it with two clicks, like that, and wait uh, 13 years. Okay, um, what else do I have to say? Yeah, we are, we are waiting on the next uh, breakthrough in construction tech, um, granting us a cheaper industry types so we can construct industries faster and after that I will open up computer and weapon field and put the rest into planetology as argued before. Okay, uh, let's hit and the, the last thing um, I'll take gamble and send four of our five long-range lasers to guard Esper from the silicoid empire because the Burathis uh, seem to spread down down here and to the left and haven't challenged Weinel is it called Weinel yeah I call it in German it would be Weinel but Weinel I guess so yeah I I I risked that gamble in two turns, a huge <laughs> fleet with full of colonists will arrive, and they will start to develop a vinyl. Okay, we are ready to hit the next turn button. Let's see what happens. The silicoids, and they bring nothing armed, so let's force them to retreat. And we meet another race? No. Hail, revert, Imperial of the Merchants, Sedimin, Bias greetings from the most powerful silicoids. Trade between our empires would benefit us both. Would you agree to 50 BC per year? We are already running a 25 trade agreement, 25 BC agree agreement, and that doesn't help us. Because it takes time to develop, um, and yeah. So I reject. But it's a good sign. Both 
uh, relationships turn to neutral. Ah, another comment. Um, neutral and no treaty means Cold War. We, we have the uh, possibility to sign a non-aggression pact, but without it we are at Cold War, which means they, they will test our defenses and just just send a small fleet and attack us. So, um, yeah. We have to manage our relationships actively. Let's have a look. We are working on the last colony ship to settle Kalos and our colonists are close to arrive, which is fine. And um, are we entering the percentages for construction tech? Yeah, perfect. Okay, ready for next turn. Guardian! That is um, the mentioned Guardian of Orion. Uh, uh, left over from the Antarians and the Guardian this is like a monster stacked with weapons, missiles, torpedoes, whatever and let's see whether our scout is able to escape no, it's destroy, uh, destroyed and uh, I can uh, assure you all fleets of all races at the moment would lose a battle against the Guardian he's very tough Right. Um, we produced another laser laser ship. Let's send it there. Um, another colony ship incoming, but hopefully unarmed, so should be safe. Um, ah, we should. We yeah. Ah, man. What, what was I doing? We should send out our scouts because new planets are in range. Let's do it. One there. Um, did I make a mistake? Yeah, I did. Okay, once again. One for Fantas. One for Incidus. And one for Zogdan. And is Draconis in range? No. And we'll send a long range laser, a long range laser ship. There, all right. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Twenty percent. So we will hit a breakthrough. Hopefully soon. We can decree. Uh, we can cut spending, research spending a little bit. Um, yeah. Time for the next turn. And we are able to discover Polis. There's a colony, uh, most likely Burathi, but it's very good to know um, the exact data, because otherwise, uh, for instance, we, ca we can't send uh, transports to a planet. So that's that's good. We were lucky. And it's it's an okay. It's not a bad planet. So the Borathis could become a real threat as well. And our colonists have arrived. Wonderful. And they're starting to work on industries. And, no. and Fieras is close to finishing the colony ship. We produced more lasers. Let's send them here. And, um, let's, yeah. Next turn. And another, dis another scout information. In, in Inferno, Inferno Planet, uh, size 30, not great. So we won't uh, invest anything in this planet, 
but um, as you can see we have to keep the silicoids from settling asper because otherwise they, w they also grab Nile and then it's like they're twice the size as we will be we can't allow that and our colony ship will be produced next turn this is wonderful news and what is happening here no, we're not that lucky as before but that's okay that's um, more fighters yeah let's let's check on prox pro proxima how fast um, the silicoids are working on their production jam next turn and we can found our next colony and Gina is a real beauty in the year 2355 the merchants form a new colony it's Gina baby and we produce our last colony ship and we s send it down here to Kalis and um, we will we will we will like um, maximize the production the industry capacity on Ferris now because we've uh, hesitated too long to do that of course uh, we had we had our reasons but um, and I will open up the other the tech fields as I said before so let's switch a little oh my phone is ringing I have to end the video. See you in next in the next video.